Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Venomous here and Vader the Giant Schnauzer. It's been a few months since we made a video, so we apologize about that. Pretty much December, my family got COVID and it just was hard to get back to content creation, but everyone's good. And today's video is gonna be about the exercise tendencies of giant schnauzers. And of course, as always, this is just me sharing my opinion. Now, Vader is a whirlwind of his own personality, so each animal is individual. Now, like all dogs, he really does love to go outside, and we have two other dogs that he enjoys that with, but Vader is very demanding of what he wants, and he needs to be outside a lot every day. And so our morning starts something like this, where he is jumping on the door, and then I let all the dogs out. But Vader does require one-on-one -on -one time where he also demands some play. It seems that this breed is very, very driven by play, which is a great training feature uh, that you can use to your advantage. That's the look and the happy little nub. <laughs> and so every single day, Vader does have physical exercise. He is a one and a half year old giant schnauzer. He will be two in May, so he's actually a little bit older than one and a half, but every day he gets a lot of physical exercise, either outside with our other dogs or one-on-one -on -one with us playing with some toys. And so that's something that he just absolutely genuinely enjoys. He really loves play and he also just really, really loves to be with us and whatever we're doing. Sometimes he'll also be chill if I'm chilling, but most of the time he's extremely demanding of some physical play. Now, Vader is not the best trained, I will definitely admit that, and it is totally our fault. So this is why things like this happen, and he's just an out of control juvenile, basically. And so he does require a lot, a lot of play and physical exercise and also exercise for his mind, which could be mental enrichment. And so exploring the yard, I think he gets a lot of the enrichment from that, demanding things from me like this, and just overall being really courageous and brave and never being afraid to do what he wants is uh, one way to put it. So he does have a ton of toys. I mean, just your typical dog toys like this, balls and also some specialty kong toys which are in a few vi video clips in a bit and he absolutely loves that toy so i'll definitely link some of that in the description and it just seems like he really loves playing tug of war he loves playing fetch although sometimes he doesn't want to give it back <laughs> he is so proud of his toy look at the way he prances i can not Here's that Kong toy that I was mentioning. He absolutely loves this toy. Um, when he first got it, it would slip out of his mouth and it was just really, really funny and silly the way he would play with this toy. Now he's come up with some better strategies where he just chomps it and holds it in his jaws just right. And I think he really, really loves this toy. We've had it for a few months. It's some type of Kong toy. I don't even know what you would call it. It was a gift. Uh, from my stepmom who's a vet and so I guess she knows exactly the right toys to give these types of dogs. He has a lot of fun playing fetch with this and he is kind of conditioned if we say go find your toy that he'll start scanning the yard because he leaves a lot of toys around our yard and he is always so very happy to play with this one. It's astonishing how much this dog exercises. You would think doing this all day, every day, he would get tired of it, but never. He almost is never even tired. It has to be like the absolute end of the day. And this is what this dog does all day. It's actually incredible how much he loves being outside. And sometimes, actually a lot of the times, he's just doing this. You can see that he is uh, kind of scanning the yard with something in his beard that's like hanging and he will love to just sit and watch. We've also, ever since he was little, said watch them, and he's kind of become accustomed to this. Although, you know, it, I do believe is in their DNA to be um, guard dogs, and so this is something that may come naturally, but it is important if you want a protection dog to get the proper training in that aspect. As well as normal physical exercise, he absolutely loves the water. Uh, giant schnauzers supposedly have some poodle ancestry in them, which is why they love water so much. And we have a retention pond on our property that he loves to just go for it. And ever since he was a puppy, he just 
would literally jump in like he has no fear and he absolutely loves this it is very hot in florida and so being black he gets very overheated and i think that he enjoys this nice dip here's some more running 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 here's more watching and he has his ball right there that he was playing fetch with and this is just one of his happiest activities i really believe Play is a great strategy for training, exercise, and just overall bonding with your pet giant schnauzer. I think it's just something they truly enjoy. Not every single dog enjoys fetch, especially like our small dog. She doesn't really do any of that. And so this is something that Vader really, really loves and he will work for it just to be able to go outside and play fetch with you. And it's just so cute and sweet. And you know, he is a young dog. So as they get older, this will change, I assume. But as of right now, he is so full of life and power and this is a dog, a breed that really, really needs this physical exercise because I don't even want to imagine what would happen if he didn't get this outlet and be able to get some of this energy out. Although sometimes it doesn't seem like he was even running around all day and he was literally running around all day and exploring the yard and playing multiple times a day. And so this dog needs somebody who's going to be there for them to do that. I would say for the males especially, they really need someone who is going to be their leader and thankfully my fiance is there because he is with him all day and he really has established the boundaries with Vader. Whereas Vader will definitely test the limits a bit more with me because he already knows that he can totally overpower me and so that's a problem but it is just a fact that he pushes the limits with me because he knows that I'm a pushover. Vader has been this high energy ever since he was a little puppy. Like, it has not changed at all. It's exactly the same level of how much this dog loves to be outside, running around, playing, getting into new things. I mean, it's just who he is. These dogs need a lot because they are a lot. And you need to look at the historical background of the breed. Why were they even created, right? They were farm dogs. I've even uh, gave him a job of getting my Amazon packages, okay? And he's doing really, really well at that so far. He also enjoys digging holes, although we don't really enjoy this, and so we don't really encourage that, but he has had some fun digging holes in our yard, just doing his dog thing, and I think being really proud of it too. Again, these dogs were created for a very specific purpose, starting on farms, which eventually led to guard dog roles, and these dogs were even used militarily, and our Europe's pretty much police dogs, just like German Shepherds are here. So they do deserve all of this space, play, and so much more, which may sometimes actually tire them out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please leave in the comments what you would like to know next about living with a giant schnauzer as your family, pet, and companion. We love to share this with you, and I hope that it helps someone who is wanting to learn more about this very, very special breed. Bye, guys. YouTube makes me say, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and keep up with us.